Cancer of pancreas is one of the most commonly seen cancers in the world. But not all pancreatic cancers are the same. Histologically, the most common type of pancreatic cancers are adenocarcinoma and neuroendocrine tumors, and their natural cause and treatment are very different. Therefore, when there is a suspected mass in the pancreas, it is very important to determine whether it is cancer or not, but it is also equally important to determine the type of the cancer. The only way to answer these questions is to do a pancreatic biopsy, and for this, the most preferred method is percutaneous CT-guided biopsy. Now, let's see how such a biopsy is performed. Our patient is a 72-year-old male. The PET CT shows a large mass at the junction of the pancreatic body and tail. Our purpose is to put a needle into the mass under CT guidance. Then we will advance a thinner needle through this needle to obtain multiple tissue samples. The coaxial needle is a fully automated through cup biopsy needle. When this button is released, the needle makes a sudden forward move and cuts a piece of tissue off the mass. For percutaneous biopsy, we first numb the skin. We also numb the peritoneum, which is a membrane that lines the abdominal organs. After this stage, the procedure will be totally pain-free. After local anesthesia, we put the needle into the skin and advance it a few centimeters towards the mass. Then we make a CT run to see if the needle is going in the correct direction. We repeat this several times until the CT shows that the needle has reached the mass at the desired point. Now it is time to obtain biopsy samples. To get biopsy samples, we advance the true cut biopsy needle through the larger needle and get a small piece of the mass. We can repeat this maneuver as many times as we want. In this way, we can obtain multiple tissue samples with a single needle placement. After all the samples are obtained, we put them into a small box and send them for pathologic evaluation. After the biopsy is completed, we remove the needles and put a sterile dressing on the puncture hole. The pancreatic biopsy is finished. The patient will be observed for a couple of hours and discharged if there is no problem. In conclusion, percutaneous pancreatic biopsy is a painless and very comfortable biopsy which can be done under CT or ultrasound guidance. It can be completed in 10 to 15 minutes and the patient can be discharged after several hours. When performed in experienced centers, percutaneous pancreatic biopsy is very accurate and safe in patients with suspected masses of the pancreas. Thank you very much for your attention.